Grand Cayman Island was once a very popular pirate hideout because it's so difficult to see from the ocean. Today, it's one of the largest and most popular cruise ship destinations in the Caribbean, and we're going to tell you our favorite four things to do in Grand Cayman. Hi, y'all. I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together, we're a cruising good time. Today, we're going to discuss the wonderful port of Grand Cayman. It is legendary for having beautiful water, beaches, and amazing diving. People of Grand Cayman are very friendly. Grand Cayman is a tender port. We're going to discuss the best way to put together a terrific day. So first of all, if you are a diver, highly recommend that you go diving in Grand Cayman. Oh, it's a great spot for diving. It's one of the most famous spots in the world. You got a fantastic wall dive there, several shipwrecks. You can do a lot. I think most every cruise ship now offers a two tank dive under shore excursion. Plus, if you want to go alone, there's countless uh, dive shops there in Cayman you can book directly with to do that. If you're not a diver, there are still amazing options to do. So what I would recommend is that you get off the ship early for your first adventure, have lunch on the island, and do a second adventure. And now we're going to talk about the other three terrific opportunities in yep. Grand Cayman. The first site to go see would be Stingray City. It's on the north side of the lagoon, on the north side of the island right there, uh, Grand Cayman. It really has two parts to it. There's a Stingray sandbar. That's where most of the shore excursions and catamarans go to. It's three to five feet deep. It's easy to get in there, walk around, hang out with a the Stingray. There's another part of the island, or right there by that area, called Stingray Valley. It's a little deeper, about 12 feet. But you can snorkel out there if you want to snorkel or maybe do a little diving right there by them. That's uh, also another thing to do. Right there all north of the island, easy to get to. And like Becky said, if you do a shore excursion through the ship, since it's a tender port, generally the shore excursions get priority on uh, getting on the tenders first. So it gets you off the ship in a hurry. You don't have to wait in line trying to get on a tender boat later on. You're off doing your thing. It makes it a lot easier. And for a little history on Stingray City. So the local fishermen, they used to stop, gut their fish, throw things over. And so the stingrays started hanging out um, and eating up the eating the leftovers. So, of course, someone came along with, hey, we can make this a business. So these are almost domesticated stingrays. So at Stingray City, there are dozens of Southern Atlantic stingrays that are going to swim up to each one of the boats as they arrive. Yeah, it's real easy. You know, it's, uh, they're very domesticated, like Becky said, very docile, uh, feel perfectly safe there in the water with them. And it's a lot of fun. I do encourage anybody that's never done it before to go to Stingray City in Grand Cayman. So, and if you're someone who doesn't wish to get in the water, then recommend that you perhaps take a glass bottom boat out to Stingray City. Another great thing about Grand Cayman is Seven Mile Beach. It's consistently ranked as one of the top beaches in the uh, world and as well as in the Caribbean, obviously. And it's just a fantastic beach to go hang on. It's westward facing. If you're there in the wintertime, you can get a really nice sunset. Um, it's a lot of fun. I like that. It has gorgeous sand, and it's a public beach, so you could walk all seven miles of it if you wanted. But along it, of course, all the businesses, like the bars or hotels, et cetera, if you go in, there may be a cover charge. Yeah. It's terrific. Yeah, the, what we've done is there's a free part of the beach. It's called Governor's Beach. It's near the Governor's Mansion right there on the beach, and it's a big beach. It's really nice sand. There's some vendors right there, uh, so there's public bathrooms that are good to use and a lot of vendors buy you know food and knickknacks whatever you want it's a lot of fun to go there a lot of chase lounges uh, to sit out on those are for rent just to be clear <laughs> they're not free but you you pay the guy a little bit of money and he'll he'll put you right up by the water shore and and you can get the umbrella and the chase lounge whatever you want out of the combination and just you know negotiate with him on the price and you'll be good to go I also liked um, at the beach, it was very nice that there were convenient public bathrooms and there were some food and drink vendors if you got a little bit of peckish. And one of the things I love about Governor's Beach, it's a very economical choice. So you can do things through your cruise ship or you could simply go out and catch a public bus. Yep. And for a couple of dollar fare both ways, you can take a ride out to Governor's Beach. So we're going to talk about how to do this. So it's simple to do on your own. It's very simple to do. You come out of the, the cruise ship uh, terminal right there in Georgetown, and there's two options. One is 
Just ask a local where to catch the bus. <laughs> That's what I've done before. They're always very friendly, and they'll point you to a sign. You can also cross the street, walk right down Fort Street, right past the library and a little square there called Hero Square. The bus depot's right there. It's easy to find. From there, uh, they have buses that go all over the, the island, not only just up and down Seven Mile Beach, but you can go all the way to the far eastern side of the island if you want to do something like that. Yep. And Governor's Beach, you can just take the yellow or green line when yep. you get on the bus. Just ask the driver, make sure you're on the right one. Easy peasy. When you arrive at the destination and you tell him you're going to Governor's Beach, ask him where you're going to catch the bus to get back. He's going to point you. It'll probably be across the street just a little ways one way or the other. And that way you know how to get home. Like Becky said, the buses are quite economical. $2 came in uh, round, uh, each way up and down Seven Mile Beach. But they're not the giant metro buses you see in the large cities of the U.S. These are more like a ten, eight, ten passenger van. Um, you know, got the sliding door inside, just like the minivans. So another great options is Cayman Spirits Distillery. You can go there through shore excursion, or you can go there on your own. You will want to take a taxi. It's a, a good ways from port. You can make um, reservations online. It's $15 a person if you choose to make your reservations online. When we arrived at the distillery, they were finishing up the um, tour for a, a cruise ship, and we just went in right behind them. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So it's it, Cayman Island Distillery is very easy to get to. You just catch, you come out front. And there's a cab stand right across the way right there from uh, the cruise ship terminal. And you can just go right there, tell them where you want to catch the cab to. They'll take you over to it. I don't remember what the fare was, but it was pretty reasonable. Uh, five or ten minute drive, too far to walk. Uh, the Cayman Distillery itself is really a lot of fun. The, the folks that work there and, and own it are just really a hoot. They make a product called a Seven Fathoms Rum, which I find to be fantastic. It's also pretty unique in that they age it at a de underwater at a depth of Seven Fathoms, hence the name. We'll have a link below to the uh, distillery. Like Becky says, you can make the uh, uh, reservations online that way or through a shore excursion, either one. And it's easy to get to. Yeah. A lot of fun. There's a good room. So as we mentioned before, this is going to be a full day on the island. So you'll need to find a nice local restaurant to grab some lunch. So the last time we went to Grand Cayman, it was a pretty big group of us. So half the group went to Stingray City and went snorkeling. The other half went to Cayman Spirits Distillery. Then we met over the dock where the tenders come in, walked over to Rackham Restaurant. Everyone got something fun. I think I may have had like some seafood tacos. Yeah, yeah, those seafood tacos were really, really good. I remember that. And I think we had some uh, uh, spring rolls there out of the conch fritters, uh, <laughs> were, and, uh, which is sad. But uh, and it was good drinks, too. It was a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah. And from there, we just walked a little ways down the roads. Local tourists told us where to catch a bus. And there we went to the whole group went to Seven Mile Beach together. Yep. Yeah, it was real easy. It's no problem at all. Literally walked out of the restaurant, bus stops there. It is easy. So we hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and leave us some comments. We'd love to know what you'd like to do in Grand Cayman. Thanks a lot for watching. There is more to come.